buzzing, you know what I mean? Hey, Will, listen. Is it filming? Welcome. So we're back, UK soil. Um, Bremen was amazing, really, really enjoyed it. Thank you very much to TDL for taking us out there. Thank you very much to Kai and Atlas, G what is it, GmbH? Yeah. Got that right first time? For taking us, it basically GmbH is Germany's equivalent to LTD. So that was a fact I learned. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing, interesting factory. We didn't see the second factory, which uh, was heavily focused on the small uh, cranes, which is like your high abs and things for the back of your lorries. Across Europe, Atlas is like the biggest supplier. So, why is my phone going off straight away? That's what it's like, not back, it's been chaos. Really, really interesting. Got back, loads of stuff sort out work. Obviously, the night before we left, we didn't get until four in the morning. This is what we're like, folks. We had a 9 a.m. flight, a couple of hours on the plane, got to the airport, Stan said to the yard, we got back about half 12, straight back to the office. And I had half an hour sleep, yeah, straight back to the office uh, and then, you know, back into the swing of things, which is what we've always done. The market and everything while we were away was fine. So everything was covered, it was all good. Got back to the yard, it's been chaos. We are really, really busy. We thought before Christmas, well, the bad weather that we've had recently in the UK, we've had like four or five, well, about six weeks of consistently bad weather. We thought we'd have a knock-on effect to the customers. If the weather's really bad, I imagine Households don't, you know, as simple as it sounds, if it's raining, they're not going to take their old toaster out to the side of the road. Do you know what I mean? And the less stuff that's left on the streets equals less stuff for the tax to collect. If it's raining, they ain't going to go and sit around, driving around, doing nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like, just a bit of a knock-on effect. But we've been really, really busy, can't complain. And especially now with like six or seven weeks of Christmas, whatever it is, it's just going to go crazy which is really good now the market has come off a very very slight amount on the youtube page come and say hello come and say hello new gloves god we god we spoil you hey, back on youtube only got me new gloves off my best cuz hey. h why don't you put the gloves to work i've got new now <laughs> go on so yeah so it's been really really good rich is actually buying some material now we've had some Quite cool stuff in actually recently. We've had a lot of uh, nice clean alley bits, a lot of stainless steel swarfs, a couple of just out of our brains, and it's stacking, stacking up nicely, keeping the turnover going, selling everything almost on a daily and weekly basis. We have another hundred ton of motors going out on Friday because I'm just, I literally can't stop buying them. It's fab. I am the biggest motor buyer in the UK, hands down. Listen, you can go to these big scrap yards that are like banks, right? And they're only paying you like 600 pounds a ton. I think I had a DM on Instagram the other day of someone from down south saying that, I'm not going to say the name of the company, but it's, a, it, you know, it's, it, it, it's, uh, it's called um, REM, okay, we'll work that out. They're only paying like £700 a ton to merchants or something. That's ridiculous. I'm on 770, 780, really, really good load. I'll probably squeeze a little bit more out of you because I want repeat business, you see. I want to pay you guys strong, strong money, take a small margin, but then have it as like a real repetitive weekly thing where I'm buying your material off you. Good cash flow, get you paid straight away. And then it's a long-term business strategy then for us. I want people to like, I know that I'm very Marmite, in the scrap industry, people all hate me, but you can't knock it, we pay well and we pay high, and that's the main thing, really. And I'm always smiling. I've run out of, I've run out of things to say My ADHD got me then, I just went, Yeah, so I don't, I don't know if I've got ADHD. I've never been diagnosed, but I've got an attention span of about nine seconds, and that's about it, really. That would forget. Oh, <laughs> should, be, should be lucky. <laughs> ah! See, chop the brass out of it. Yeah, so listen, like if you're, I can't get my head around this, right? We buy some bale tanks off a customer that is like a, obviously a merchant because I doubt a normal tatter's got access to a baler. Why would you not cut your brass off or your little, or take your elements out of your tanks? I don't get it. You, the, all right, you're going to lose a kilo in weight, but then that is just 98% heavy copper then once it's cleaned. Like, you can, like today, you're going to be pay, being paid like 565, 570, whereas with the stuff in, you're looking at like five pound a kilo, 520. It's just like a massive, massive difference. So what we have at Turney Mills, Henry, I was just saying, what we have here 
is the world's best burner. Yeah, you know that, the world's best burner. And Henry cleans up all of the tanks and gets rid of all of the contamination, not just in coppers, but like, for example, he's doing alley copper ads now. They usually have like a steel frame on them to obviously fix the radiator into whatever machine products they're doing. This is what you have to take out, all the yeah. element. Element, copper element there, take that out. So even now they're worth like yeah. that's worth like one pound fifty a kilo as it is. So you lose say a fiver in the material that you remove off the tank, but then you gain back the bits of brass and the element. So then this goes straight in the copper tank. Done. Easy peasy. Done. You could have got a bit more foam off it, but then so you've lost the fiver on the weight, but then you've weighed in your element and your bits of brass, so you've probably gained like two or three quid back. So really by cleaning it, on your purchasing price, you lose a fiver, but then once you sell it and get that higher price because it's a better quality product, it's way worth cleaning the material on your tanks and that. If you lose one kilo worth five pounds, but then you gain 60p a kilo on 12 kilos, the total weight of the tank, what's that? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably, you know what, I'm probably saying things now that are making no sense. But yeah, I know that I'm right because we do it every day. So, as you've seen the burning situation, let's go and find my other better half of the Scrapping Diaries, Ricky T, who's going to show you guys how you guys can get more money for Christmas. You can weigh items into us and we will pay you cash straight into your bank, same day, and you guys know the best Christmas. Because I'm looking at having to... Uh, I'm looking at having turkey this year. Last year it was chicken because we were so skinny, you know what I mean? So, we are looking for, I mean, listen, I can have anything I want, right? But all I want wrapped up under my Christmas tree is Ricky T. And there he is. Rich! Why right. are you looking so tired? Oh. I'm recovering from Bremen, from the Atlas factory, was that? Incredible. Now. Has it knocked you out? Is no, it all that view and all that? Yeah. No, it's a lovely place. The fact was amazing. But afterwards, I think we overdid it. <laughs> you led the way. You I didn't lead the way. Well, actually, you got me in that bar in the same. Uh, uh, after I said I'm going back at 8, 8 pm, you actually said, no, no, I'm looking there. I'll give you an hour. You give it an hour. Eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you all, all those are fantastic. Sausage fantastic and cold ones, English mustard. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Is that your hangover food? Yeah. Well, let's go and show everybody how they can make more money at Christmas. Go on then, I struggle to get off this. <laughs> Where's he just gone? I've noticed he's never moved. Rich, you've never moved so fast in your life. What? I've never seen you move that fast before, ever. <laughs> so, Rich, what copper is this? This is... Oh, used. Come on, take it, Copper tube. Wow, what a bloke, man. So, news 98% copper tube today is, probably should have done this before we started filming, £5.80 a kilo. That's used heavy copper tubing, 98% tube as we call it. If you guys have got any lying around your house, done your bathroom out, don't give it to the tradesman. You can weigh it in yourself or give it to the tradesman. And if you are a tradesman, bring it to me. Win-win. But that is probably the most common copper. Everyone's got tubing lying around their houses. If you get any work done in your house, anything like that, you should have some scraps left over. Or if it's really bad, just sweep it off the wall. Or if it's really bad, just, who needs a shower? Just take these pipes off the wall, man. <laughs> use, the, use the sink. I don't know. Just have a bit of, what do they call it? A, 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 a soldier wash, where they just use wet wipes. Oh, yeah. Dry, wet, dry wash, wet wash. I don't know. Oh, Sounds like you know. Oh, Use your jet wash outside. Who's <laughs> going now? Hello? Every, every 10 seconds you're stopping. I'm not, I'm in. Who did your hair? <laughs> Who did your hair look like Tintin? Who got the comb over you, going? You need to have me that Tintin. Look, look, look at Tintin. What'd you do, Rich? Obviously, what colour is the smooth that across my face? I think you need to get turkey, don't you? <laughs> no. no. You can't talk, mate. Pull, oh, pull, pull, pull your thing back, pull your fringe back. What like, you do? It's like the McDonald's sign, oh, that does it. Like there. And there. I need to take them. Why have you got a bit down there? Yeah, why have you got Just a bit down the there? Shut the up. <laughs> oh, Ellen, look over there. Look over there. Just slow. So, Rich, what other metals can people weigh in? Well, at Christmas, all the tradesmen, general homeowners, have a clear out. Brass, coppers, aluminium. So whatever you've got, bring it down and we'll um, give you the best price. 
I'll tell you what people might have lying around the house, a few of these. So, on Christmas Day, you're going to be spending the whole day with your family, around the fire, unwrapping the expensive presents you're going to buy from Harrods because of all the metal that you've weighed in. You like, you've got Lambos on the drive and Rolexes under the tree and all that sort of stuff. But because you're all together, you don't need your car, right? So weigh in your lead acid car battery. Today, <laughs> we are paying £590 per tonne for a car battery. So that roughly works out to six, seven, eight quid. If you've got a big one, like this one, that's like a dinky car battery. If you've got a big up, oh my God. That's gonna be worth like 15 quid a pop, innit? Yeah? Yeah. So if you've got three or four cars in your drive, you don't need them because you're like all staying at home over Christmas, weigh the batteries in, and that's paid for your Boxing Day drinks. Just think of all the family that come and visit. Yeah, and just make sure that all the other family members visit you in your new flash house with all your presents because you've got weighed in and you've got loads of money. No way. And if you're going to weigh in your Lamborghini Performante's car battery, I will pay you a fat pat pound a kilo because I just want one. You know what I mean, Rich? That's the first item towards the Lambo dream, man. Buy the battery. In fact, we could actually buy the alloys, buy the battery, buy the car looms. I'm sure we'll get a Shannon at some point. <laughs> we can just build our, build our own. Cool. You know what I mean? Um, it's lovely, sorted. <laughs> Where's the... <laughs> what? Something else you might have around the house, or maybe even the grandparents' house, is brass. You've got any old brass ornaments or anything like this, really. I went out to my grandparents last time, I found these. I'll be weighing these in later. So, Bridge. any brass, Bridge. get it down. Bridge. I think Trixie was late this morning, so I went around to hers and I nicked her brass on. Well, that's nice. That's a wake, that's a lot that was. <laughs> Does it work, though? Yeah. <laughs> so, another product that everyone has got in their house that will power every day of their lives apart from Christmas Day, because that is ran on love and appreciation for family members and things. So you don't actually need it anymore. In your house, you're going to have lots of this. Lots of household cable. Lots of charging wires, but we don't need the charging wires because none of your iPhones will be done because you're all together in love and harmony. So, household cable. Today, we are paying £2.15p a kilo. That means £2,150 per tonne. Now, all through your walls, you're gonna have loads of cable which you can take out, chop the attachments off, bring to me, you get great money, great service. All right, your underfloor heating won't work, but it won't matter because your house is gonna be rammed full of your family and friends, all drinking Baileys and cream and just having a great time. You don't need this. Worry about this at the end of January, you know what I mean? So this bin, for example, is just full of cable from my own house because this Christmas we're going to be like the Amish people in our own little bubble with the baby, just there, all oh, just oh, lovely, just got a fire on, two dogs for warmth and protection. You don't need cables, you don't need electronics. What you need is loads of money for the scrap waste in your house. Does that mean that you've got Mary and Joseph? Mary and Joseph? Yeah. I ain't got a lamb though. I could just frank up as a little lamb. Rich would be, I tell you what Rich would, Rich would actually be Jesus, right? Because he thinks that he gives up so much for everybody. But all he did was give up a weekend. He, he came back alive on the Tuesday or something. So he had like three days off. And everybody loves him for it. That's Richard, that is. Brut. Yeah. How many miles walking? How, how many miles? But how, how long does it take to fill that? One hour. An hour? That's really good. Yeah. A fair play to you. Every day these guys are in with a trolley. Every day. YouTube, TikTok. For the YouTube? YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. You are YouTube famous. Yeah. You're the best, the, the best hatter. Subscribe. Say it, say yeah. it to the camera. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my God, Will, there's another, there's another, uh, there's another pet Patronus barrel. How is your Patronus barrel coming along? I'm done it. You haven't done anything with it? Not hey, yet. What, what are you going to do with it? Is there a plan? Make it into a table. Make it into a table. Glass top. Glass top table. Go on. Go on. That you can sit at and just tug over Lewis Hamilton. Correct. Oh. Do you want this one as well? A bit much in it, really. Oh. There you are. Number two can for you, Will. You can pull out, mate, go. Oh. Big customer relations. 
It's customer relations. What's the problem, man? Yeah. We give you too much money. Yeah, no man. You have too much money. You got it, Sean. We got you, mate. Oh, yeah, got you, Sean. Go on, Sean. What a kid, man. What a driver. Ryan, do we get that lorry out? Yeah, you'd be Moses, you would. Who would you be in the nativity scene? Hang on. Oh, Leave Van on the bridge when you're ready. Yeah, oh. Laurie, go that way, Van, go that way. Listen, I can only do one thing at a time, okay? I'm, not, I'm still oh, even doing, oh, I'm, I'm doing sound one. Doing you, Harry. Sim? Oh, yeah. Moving the window. Well, takes the same. Still you in 05, this van. This van. Let it be finished. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. He's finished, yeah? Yeah. Sharing. Sharing, huh? Is it sharing? Thank you. I think all of our Thank customers are all of our customers are allergic to saying light time. <laughs> Good chat, Rich. Something else for Christmas. Have you got any old ladders in the shed? It's past an old old alley. Today's price is £1,050 a ton. Put your lights up this Christmas. Don't bother taking them down. Wait your ladders in, then you can't. It saves you a job. So, any alley, get it down. Last but not least, the kitchen sink. Stainless today is £1,050 a ton. So, any clean stainless steel, bring it down. And then, with our sink, you can't do the wash it up. Even better, save your job. Hello, Pickin. You're all right, Pickin. How you doing? Right, yeah. You're all right. You ready for Christmas? Yeah, it's going to be here. I know, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's only around the corner. I know. You get, you, what, <laughs> what are you doing this year? You got the family round? Just because that's day by day, yeah? No, yeah, that's it, yeah. Nice, yeah. Really. Just keep walking. Keep walking, mate. <laughs> keep tatting. Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah. You're on. Very good, very good, very good. Very yeah. big, thanks, mate. Nice, mate. Right then, Will. Right, everyone in their garage has got an old set of alloys. Maybe like this, would have took off an old mini or something. So if you have, bring them down, we'll buy them even with a tire on. With a tire on, it ranges between £5 and £25. Without the tire on, an alloy today is worth £1.60 a kilo. So get them down, more Christmas money. All right, John? Hey, hey, got it. Come on. I'm not. What's in it? It's full of Christmas presents. Hey, John, put that in your head. For the camera, you know what I mean? What are you doing? Don't do your back in, not my head. Oh, my arms are fresh air cut, man. Oh. Santa is getting rid of his old uh, work, 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 warehouses and he's here to weigh it in now, you know what I mean? John, when does your beard come for Christmas? You know what? No, oh, f it. He is going to absolutely hate it. Look at this run up. Where are you going? Don't run off. Traffic out. Look at this. He's just calling the run <laughs> you can stay away from me. <laughs> you know. So big day tomorrow. Bridget, yeah, watch your back. You gotta run you over here. <laughs> uh, we have 100 ton of electric motors going out. We've got, we've got one more contract after that before I have to get new prices. And tomorrow, Richard and I are going down to London because it is the BMRA, which is the British Metal Recycling Association annual event. It's held at the Lancaster Hotel. We are going down to do some sort of, I call it a networking event where we meet all the, there's a lot of people that we deal with we don't see on a daily basis. So I'm looking forward to going down, having a drink with some customers, having a drink with some uh, buyers, and um, you know, just, making sure that everyone knows that we are the Scrap Kings, basically. Yeah. Not only can you come to the yard to weigh in metal to uh, get more money, you can also come to the Harry Taroni Christmas Special Shopping Centre. You don't need to go to the high street, you go to places like Halfords for your bikes. I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bikes. Different sizes, kids' bikes, adult bike, off-road, on-road, alley. So I've got every bike you can imagine. I am Mr. Cycle. You know what I mean? That's what they call me. Look at this one that's just come in today. 
quality. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And this is £20 rather than Halford, £1,000. Not at home. Easy, me, peasy. Might have, to do, 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 do. Might have to put some WD-40 on the chain, though, just to make sure that it's... Uh, but even so, buying WD-40 and the bike, £25, bargain. Ah, you yeah, but just watch, watch getting off it, because it I'll just rip my trousers. I'm just, I'm just rip my, I'm just rip my trousers. Yeah, because I don't like that one anymore. Because rip my trousers, that's worth a ten pound now. You can have that one for. So yeah, anything like that, come down. We've got loads of brass ornaments for sale. We've got loads of uh, bikes. Richard for one pound ninety nine is going to be doing a Merry Christmas song. That for each stream that's played on Spotify, naught percent goes to charity. So for ten pounds, Richard will do a Christmas message for your child, naked. Yeah, see, we've had our first purchase. This bike is going to uh, Scandinavia. It's going to the North Pole itself because even Santa can't beat our prices. You know what I mean? That's, that's why it's a piece of the transport. Looking good, John! Look, looking good! Rich, I've, so, I've signed you up for Cameo. He's, he's doing it now. I've signed you up. Yeah, fans here. Fans? They're asking you. Yeah, honestly. They're asking for you. Don't is embarrass it? me in front of everyone. All right! Come and say hello! Oh no, he wants to... No, no, Rich, don't run off, man. I feel all weird now. How, how are you? Do you watch the channel? Yeah. No. Oh, I'm here, fair yeah. play to you. Thanks, You're mate. Right there, yeah. Appreciate that. Nice one. Right there, yeah. Hang on, what were you, what were you even doing if you looked happy? Okay, I had a bit of pressure, this man, I did. Not a lot, but I had a bit. Can't beat that. I don't know, I'll come in every month, man. Yeah? Yeah? All right, bang on, mate. Appreciate nice it. Nice one, mate, yeah? Nice one. Nice one. Thank you very much, mate. See Thanks for cheers. subscribing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> That's it. That is what it's all about. More money, no problems. You know what I mean? I'm just saying we're going to the B1A tomorrow. Yeah. Are you going to get drunk? No, I'm not drinking. Are you not? No. Why are you lying? Because <laughs> at the moment, I don't want to... I just don't drink. <laughs> so what's the point in going? For a serious... Nice? Yeah, it's not all about drinking. It's, it's not all about drinking. Have you got a nightclub booked afterwards? Have you? No. <laughs> Still a bit. We're actually taking the Wilshire boys with us. I want to get Craig and Dane really, really hammered. Can't wait. I sold some stuff to somewhere it shouldn't have gone. It should have gone, but it shouldn't have gone. And Dan's going to kill me, so you're going to have to... What's that? You. Another mistake? No, no, you want no, me to cover? no, no, I, no, no, not that. Do you want me to cover? You're going to have to take the hit, man. OK. All right. <laughs> I'll do it for you, I'll do it for you. I'll get the I'll crusty the ants away from me. Ah. Say, so, look, listen, it's getting close to Christmas. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at look, the f it's all in a road. I'll put the I'll put the I'll put the prices up. Yeah? Yeah man. How much is Sherry? Oh 200. You see boss? And like aluminium, yep. copper, everything up. Everything up, man. No problem. Can you see on the camera how far the back the queue's going at the minute? Oh, well, we're in November, which means we've got six weeks before Christmas. So I'm going to put this out there now, right? If you are a customer or a potential customer that has non ferrous metal, but they've seen our videos and are intimidated by the queue because you don't have time, if you are not stripping, i.e., if you're not unloading washing machines and smashing them up, you do not have to queue. I will get you in quick and fast, especially if all you've got is non-ferrous. Do not get worried by the size of the queue. We will get you straight in and unloaded because you're going to be, what, five minutes, whereas some of these tatters could be like two hours. That's the logic behind it. You know what I mean? Hell tone, I thought you would have done it by now. It's because we've got that much metal in the yard, so is that That's good? It, mate. It's Fuck bulging out, you know what I mean? Bulging out. Yeah. Them sheets look smart, though, wouldn't they, down here? Yeah. Are you going to get rid of the whole lot? We're going up to there for now. Why? That seems a bit of a waste of time, doesn't it? That is the g***est horn, that is. <laughs> there we go, it's always improving the yard, you know what I mean? Cheers, Tone. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Watch your football. So you might be wondering why we're covering Christmas so early. It's because super non-ferrous, no, non-ferrous. I meant to say social media. 
Cheers, guys. Right. It's a super, super, super social media extraordinaire, William Ruffo, has already, and he had his Christmas tree up a week before we filmed this. Well, I haven't said it. He's had, his, he's had his Christmas tree up a week. It's a bit much, isn't it? We're going to do a little outro now because I don't know how tomorrow's going to go with me being drunk. So, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Sorry today's this episode has been a bit chaotic with the yards being mental, so busy, which is fantastic. Nice run up to Christmas now. I want to do a little bit of the BMRA tomorrow, but can't promise because I'll be just, there'll be like a queue of other scrap dealers just waiting for selfies and that. And Rich is left to like fight them off. Um, you know, so we'll see. Um, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week. He can't do that again, that was all right, wasn't it? No, that was all right. I did it again because we all said it was all right. I, I did it really good. No, you were shouting bricks, you need to walk. Third. So, obviously. Oh, let me start again. F you know. Right. Yeah, start again. Josh! Right.